Well, hey there, and welcome back for another second-hand opinion in this video. I'm Jason Alderman, the internet's favorite. Fat mouth, fat ass, bringing the fat stacks fucked facts. And I bet you, like me and everybody else, have been following the Joe Biden, Hunter Biden story. Guess what? It runs all the way back to Russia, Russia, Russia Gate, the Ukraine scandal, all of that stupid impeachment hoax bullshit. Oh, yeah. We're coming around to the finding that four years of absolute total bullshit and horseshit from the Democrats and the media and the collusion between the social media and the big news media tech and alt media and the Democratic Party and big government, big global business and Soros cash. Guys, here's the thing, man. You're swamp creatures, so everywhere you go, you leave these muddy, swampy footprints. And all we have to do is follow the footprints around. Let's just pretend for a second that, let's say, Joe Biden has blue swampy footprints. And Hillary has pink swampy footprints. And Obama has gray swampy footprints. And Soros has brown swampy footprints. All we have to do is follow the colors around and where you guys meet up. It's obvious because it's a mishmash of fucking rainbow fucking two-year-old finger painting. So when Hunter Biden is known to have been smoking crack for the majority of his life. I mean, he got booted out of the military for... for Snorting coke. And when all of this started coming around uh, to Joe Biden in the beginning, it was found out that Hunter returned to rent a car with a crack pipe in the back seat, a bunch of other stuff, that he liked to hang out with hookers and strippers, and he got one knocked up and tried to run away from that. Uh, Joe Biden's loose-ass antics has got himself tied up in all of this, and it doesn't matter how much he pretends or how much he lies or how much they cover for him. They cannot hide the facts, the paper trail. It's there. What's going to be more funny is as they freak out and realize that Joe Biden cannot be running for president because he's going to prison, they're going to realize this is all connected to like the Democrats' huge party scheme. They're all making money off of each other, off of their, their ill-gotten, you know, uh, ideas. They're out there playing fuck-fuck games with other governments trying to sell American White House time, sell American government time, sell American lives, if you will. They're willing to sell out you know, whatever it is they can sell to get rich in the moment. They don't care about you or me or anybody else. And the reason they cannot stand Donald Trump is because Donnie is fucking up their game. Donnie came in from out of the, out of the game. He's like watching a polo match. And he's watching these polo teams battle back and forth. And they're playing games so that they can gamble on it. Well, Donnie gets his team together and he goes out there and he just starts kicking their asses and playing real polo. You can bet on the, the fixed games and the Democrats, or you can bet on Donnie's team going out there and trying to win and not play games to earn money at the gambling establishments. That's what we've got going on here in politics. We have the Democrats top down, you know, doing underhanded things and, and making money schemes uh, and, and passing on the the lower end schemes to the people beneath them. Oh, I've made enough money doing this trick. I'm going to move on to, to doing this trick and that trick. I'll tell them about this trick and they can get some money on the back end of it too. So Joe Biden's got himself good and trapped in this situation. And, and the funny thing to me is he can't run for president and he won't be able to run for president here by the election and whatnot. No one, whether, whether it comes out that they got him by the balls or not, everybody knows he's dick deep in it. So, no one's going to be voting for Joe Biden. <laughs> no one wants this this shady, unscrupulous handler of a crackhead son for for double dealing government business bullshit, laundering money and stuff. No one wants to elect you as a president to lead this country when you won't play the game right, bro. What's better to me is because they're catching Joe. You know there are other threads. There are other loose ends tied to Joe's rope. And those people have got to be freaking the fuck out right now. Hillary Clinton has got to be in full panic mode. Barack Obama has got to be in full panic mode. I wouldn't be surprised when Nancy Pelosi doesn't go hide in a fucking bomb shelter somewhere. 
her ass is tied up with, with John Pelosi, I believe her son's name is, was running the same kind of scam in China with Hunter Biden under Star Blue or Blue Star. It's basically China's version of Burisma. So Hunter Biden was on the board of Burisma making money out of Ukraine through double-ended dealings in the government and shady bullshit. Nancy Pelosi's son, John Pelosi, was doing the exact same thing with the Biden family in China under Star Blue. All of that's going to come out soon, too. So when it comes to light that Joe Biden was doing this stuff under Barack Obama's nose, and they're going to try to say that Barack Obama didn't know about it, and there's going to be even more emails that come out that prove that's a lie, too. They lie. They cheat. They steal. Their children who just want to win the Monopoly game and they don't care about the rules and they don't give a shit about fair play. They just want the win. They want all the money. They want all the property. And they don't care about you. If it isn't blatantly obvious yet, it'll become even more so by the time the election theoretically comes down that this has been an attempt to usurp American money, American freedom, American minds, American motivations. This is an attempt to use you to them, for them to get rich. That's all this is. That's all it's ever been. I've said in videos before, at the government level, dollars and cents is pointless. It's meaningless. Resources, the value therein is, is the important part. If you're a tribal leader, it doesn't matter how many shekels you have. It matters how many cows you have. It doesn't matter how many paintings you have. It matters how much resource of water you have. It doesn't matter if you've got a master's degree in political science. What matters is that you have linguistic skills to communicate with the other tribes around you. So when you elevate this or expand this or, or whatever, you blow this up to a large government level like Russia, Ukraine, America, China, Japan, etc. They're not looking at dollars and cents anymore. Their resources are not gold, water, food, oil, any of that. It's not uranium. It's not the shale. It's not natural gases. The resources, the dollars and cents, the only value that government has, the country as, as a political unit has, is you and me. You and I will provide a labor force to provide resources to the system for our entire life. The prospectus is how much energy can they get out of that lifespan. And the value therein is the only net worth the government holds. That's the only thing that's of any value that they have, is you and me. We are their cash flow. So they want to control us. They want us to vote the way they want us to vote and choose what they want us to choose. It's like going to the Burger King. Three options might be shit sandwich, and one option is the $500 cheeseburger with the wad of snot in it. Well, if it's the only place to eat, you're probably going to look for the cheeseburger and figure out how to get the snot out of it. But it's not an option. This is not a decision you made. This is a choice foisted upon you because the only other options are go hungry, eat poop, or a snot burger. It's not a choice. It's not large fry, small fry, medium fry. This is you get fries or you fuck off. So all of this is going to come crashing down around Biden, around Obama, around Pelosi, and all of the establishment players. This is the part where Donnie gets to drain the swamp in such a dramatic fashion such a, a WWE fashion. We get to go into this election brawl and watch Donnie's opponents trip over their own shoelaces left and right and center and fall flat on their faces. All of the, the sneaker, sneaky crap comes falling out of the closet or whatever. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious, folks. Let's all pretend like our opinions matter and leave them in the comments below. And remember, this is social media, so do all the things.